Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will solve integration of rational fractions. So when we say rational fractions, is a fraction that contains polynomials on the numerator and denominator. So just like in our two examples. Okay, so we will discuss case number one. We have four cases. So I will uh, upload uh, videos on each case. So first we have case one. If a linear factor ax plus b occurs once as a factor of the denominator, there corresponds to this factor one partial fraction a over ax plus b where a is a constant and a is not equal to zero. Okay, try to answer first the two problems. Number one, integral of dx over x squared plus 2x. And number two, integral of x minus 5 over x squared minus x minus 2 dx. Okay, so let us answer number 1 and 2. Okay, number 1, we have integral of dx over x squared plus 2x. So first step is we need to uh, factor out first the common. So we have x squared and 2x. Okay, so factor out first. So therefore, we have integral of dx over x times x plus 2. Okay, and then next... We will solve the value of a and b. So we isolate first the uh, 1 over uh, x squared x squared plus 2x. That is equal to a over the first factor ax plus b. So a over x plus b over the second factor x plus 2. Okay, so our next step is to solve for a and b. We have two methods in... Uh, Solving for A and B. So for the number 1, for this number, we will use the substitution method. So I think method number 1, substitution method. And then for the number 2, uh, we will uh, use the second method, which is the equating uh, coefficients. So substitution method. To solve the value of A, A and B. Okay, so we have 1 over x squared plus 2x equals a over x plus b over x plus 2. So x squared plus 2x, so that is the same as x times x plus 2. So in this uh, equation, we just simply uh, multiply both sides of the equation by x times x plus 2 to get rid of the of our denominators. So x squared plus 2x times this term, so that, that will be cancelled out. So the remaining term will be the numerator. 1 equals... A over X multiplied to this. So we have A times uh, X plus 2. We simply cancel X and X. And then plus for this term, multiply to this term. So we can cancel out X plus 2 and X plus 2. So we have BX. Okay, so to solve the value of A and B, we will use the substitution method. So uh, therefore, uh, we will ask, we will let the, we will solve for, for the value of of x such that the expression will become zero. So for this term, uh, for the to eliminate a, we will let uh, x plus 2 equals zero or the value of x is negative 2. Okay, so when x is negative 2, the value of a will become zero and then we can see, uh, easily solve the value of b. Okay, so therefore, uh, when equate this to zero, so when x equals negative 2, we have substitute negative 2 for every x. So therefore, we have 1 equals a times uh, negative 2 plus 2. So that will become 0 plus b times the value of x is negative 2. So b times negative 2. So therefore, the value of b is uh, 1 equals b times negative 2. We have negative 2b. And therefore, divide both sides by negative 2. So therefore, the value of b is negative 1 half. And then next, uh, we, we substitute a value of x such that this term will become 0. So therefore, if this term will become 0, we, as, we substitute x equals 0. Okay? When x equals 0, so this term will become 0. So substitute 0 for every x. So we have 1 equals a times x is 0, so we have 0 plus 2 plus b times 0. Okay, so no need to write this. That is 0. And then, therefore, we have 1 equals 0 plus 2. So we have 1 equals 2a. And then, divide both sides by 2. So therefore, a is equal to 1 half. 
Okay, so we now have the values of A and B. So therefore, we can now integrate this integral of dx over x times x plus 2 equals A, which is 1 half. So it is equal to 1 half integral of dx over x over this, dx over x plus the value of b is negative 1 half. So we change this to negative 1 half. So minus 1 half integral of dx over this term x plus 2. Okay? So usually uh, in case number 1, our integral uh, will be always in the form du over u. So that if our u is x, the derivative of u is dx. So dx over x, so the answer to that is 1 half ln of ln of x. And then for this, if u is x plus 2, the derivative of u is derivative of x plus 2 is dx. Okay, so therefore it's it's also in the form integral of du over u. So the answer to that is ln u plus c. So therefore we have 1 minus uh, 1 half ln x minus 1 half ln of uh, x plus 2 plus c. Okay, so we can simplify this. We can combine applying the uh, law of uh, logarithm. If we have ln, ln of a minus ln of b, that is simply equal to ln. Positive will be in the numerator and the negative sign will be in the denominator. So that is the property of logarithm. Okay, so just uh, since we have uh, same uh, ex same constant of one half. So therefore, final answer will be one half ln of the numerator is x. So negative. So therefore, it will go to the denominator x plus 2. So we can put that in the parentheses plus c. So this is the final answer. 1 half ln of x over x plus 2 plus the constant of integration c. Okay, so next number 2. Integral of x minus 5 over x squared minus x minus 2 dx. So first step is to uh, factor the denominator. So by trial and error. So just copy the numerator x minus 5. So, by trial and error, so let's factor the denominator. So, factors of negative 2 such that the sum is negative 1. So, the factors of negative 2 are negative 2 and positive 1. So, when multiplied, negative 2 times positive 1, that is negative 2. When we add negative 2 plus 1, that is equal to negative 1. So, it is the middle term negative 1x. Okay, so therefore, the factors are x minus 2 and then x plus 1. Okay, so therefore, we can integrate this by uh, integral of a over x minus 2 plus b. Integ uh, we have dx here. So b over x plus 1 and then dx. So we just need to uh, solve the value of a and b. Okay, so we isolate this. So we have x minus 5 over x minus 2 times x plus 2. So that is equal to solve the partial uh, fraction. We have a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 2. And then uh, to get rid of the denominator, we multiply both sides of the equation by the x minus 2 times, I'm sorry, this is x plus 1. So this is x plus 1. So x minus 2 times x plus 1. So multiply both sides by x minus 2 and x plus 1. So we can cancel this if we multiply. So we have numerator, here we have x minus 5 equals, so cancel out x minus 2. So we have a times x plus 1. Cancel out this, so we have x plus 1. And then for this term, so multiply, so we can cancel out x plus 1. So what will remain is x minus 2. So b times x minus 2. So now uh, we will solve this by equating coefficients. Solve this by equating coefficients. So for number 1, we solve by substitution. And then for this one, we, uh, another method is equating coefficients. So we will equate the coefficients of x. 
So equate the coefficients of x and equate the coefficients of constant. Constant. So this is this is for the constant. So for for x, so equate the coefficients of x. So this will become a times x. So the coefficient of of x for this is a. So we have a. And then for this term, if we multiply by b, the coefficient of x is b, positive b. So we have a plus b equals the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x here is 1. Okay? So that will be our equation number 1. And then for the constant, so for the constant, uh, let's equate the coefficient of the equate the coefficient of constant. So we have the coefficient of constant is this uh, 1 times a. So that is 1a. And then we have negative 2 times b. So that is negative 2b equals this constant negative b. Okay, so therefore the next equation will be uh, a and then minus 2b equals negative 5. And then we will solve this by elimination by substitution or by any method that you want so just solve for a and b so i will solve this by uh by elimination method since uh we we both have uh same value of a so i will just uh subtract this so if we subtract this subtract so change the sign so negative positive and this will be positive so when we subtract cancel this so b plus 2b we have 3b equals 1 plus 5, that is equal to 6. And then divide both sides by 3. So therefore, the value of B is equal to 2. Okay, and then uh, let's now solve for the value of A. So we have uh, A plus B equals 1. So the value of B is 2. So therefore, we have A plus 2 equals 1. So therefore, the value of A is equal to subtract 2 to both sides. 1 minus 2, therefore, A is equal to negative 1. So Therefore, our integral will be integral of, I will just copy this, X minus 5 over X squared minus X minus 2 DX equals A integral of X, DX over X minus 2. The value of A is negative 1. So we have negative integral of DX over X minus 2. And then our B is positive 2. So plus 2 integral of dx over x plus 1. So again, it's, it is in the form integral of du over u. Because our u will be x minus 2. The, the differential of x minus 2 is dx. Also for this one, if our u is x plus 1, the derivative or the differential of x plus 1 is dx. So we just use this formula, integral of du over u, that is equal to ln u plus c. So therefore, the answer will be negative ln of x minus 2 plus 2 ln of x plus 1 plus c. So we can simplify this. So combine in, uh, we use a single uh, ln. So if positive, that will be in the numerator. And if negative, that will be in the denominator. But as you can see, we have different co coefficient of ln. So we have two here. So we apply the other property of logarithm. So if we have ln of a to the n, that is equal to. So the exponent of this will just go to in, in front. So that's equal to n ln of a and ln of a so our expo uh this term will can go to the exponent ln of x plus one so to simplify so we have ln of uh x plus one the coefficient will go to the exponent x plus one is squared over x minus two x mi over x minus two since the sign is negative plus c so this is the final answer ln of x plus 1 squared over x minus 2 plus the constant of integration c. Okay, so that's all. So I hope uh, you learned something from this video. So see you on my next video, Integration of Rational Fractions, case number 2. So bye-bye and God bless.